does it feel to win the Summer League Championship? Man, great, man. Great, man. All the hard work paying off, man. How about yourself, right? Second round pick. How do you feel you've proved yourself out here? Uh, I feel like I put myself a lot, you know what I'm saying? I just came out with a chill my shoulder from day one, and uh, I feel like I kept that chill my shoulder throughout the whole summer league. And what was it like to have the camaraderie with this squad here? Uh, it was great for me, you know, especially the experience. So for me to be able to play with them and learn from them meant a lot. Imani, congratulations. Go celebrate. Yes, sir. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Congratulations to Imani Bates and the Cleveland Cavaliers for winning the summer league championship. Imani Bates just proved a lot of people wrong, man. He just made a lot of NBA scouts look look stupid, honestly. The Cavs definitely got themselves a stud, man, without a doubt. I always thought um he was a talented player. Even back at um back in his days in high school, um he won back to back Gatorade player of the years at the age of seventeen. The youngest player to ever do that. Um so he was no slouch in high school, so it kind of always confused me how he fell from grace for kind of no reason. And the only reason I could think is because a couple of scouts said he had short arms and didn't have the measurements to play in the NBA. And obviously he doesn't have the best measurements, but like when has that ever stopped a player with confidence and skill? When has that ever stopped them from um, reaching the top of the NBA and becoming a star? When has that ever stopped them? This is where I feel like we could we should take we should take what scouts say with a grain of salt. Too handsy and too they they tried to be too analytical when it came to money Bates when they just they should have saw him for what he was a six nine shot creating sniper honestly they should have saw him for what he was and they did it and that's why the Cavs were able to steal him and that's why they're gonna the team is just gonna get better from that hence why they just won the summer league championship and i'm not saying that money base doesn't have weaknesses he definitely has to work on his shot selection and um his playmaking and obviously defense but this is all things that come with um playing in the nba obviously he's yeah he's not a veteran he hasn't played a single second in the nba yet so give him time and development and you know barring injury we can see what he can really do but you know this 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 notion of giving up on guys who are 20 21 19, 17, like it's crazy, honestly. Um, the modern never puts too much pressure on these young guys, and I honestly feel for them sometimes. Money, money base is definitely, he's definitely looking like he's going to be one of the best draft deals of all time if he uh, if he pans out. Definitely in the last 10 years. Um, whenever you able, whenever you ever been able to get a guy in the second round with like, what, the 47th or 48th pick, like that's unheard of. So he's definitely proven a lot of the doubters wrong when it comes to that. Obviously, you know, his wingspan isn't as impressive as Brandon Ingram, but his game reminds me a lot of Brandon Ingram, um, both standing at six foot nine, um, three level scores, being able to score from the three, um, side step three, step back threes, catch and shoot, pull up mid ranges, fade away mid ranges, finishing at the rack. Um, they got it all. So I feel like. Brandon Ingram is a good comparison when it comes to Imani Bates. Definitely excited to see what Imani Bates could do um, on the Cavs team next year. Hope they give him a decent role. Um, and I hope he plays his way into, you know, a, a big role um, over time. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys later.